Hi everyone. I hope you're doing well in this weird time. I know that a lot of people have had concerns about their dog's meals and doing their dog's meals at home. So today I'm going to give you a few tips and some demos for doing your nails. Um, all you need to have at home is a pair of nail clippers. The size depends on the size of your dog's nails. There's a few different options. Um, ideally some quick stop or other styptic powder just in case you get too close to the quick. You can also use um, uh, cornstarch and just put that on. And if you like, you can if you also have a Dremel or a grinder, you can also just use a regular nail file. And this kind of helps to smooth down the nails and um, take off the rough edges, but that's optional. A lot of people are scared to trim nails themselves because they're afraid of getting too short and making their dog bleed. Um, but it helps to know the anatomy of a nail and how the nail is made so that you can feel more confident when you're cutting your dog's nails. Dog nails are made up of layers. Uh, the quick is the blood supply that's inside of the nail. And then there, it's surrounded by kind of a membrane sort of layer. And then around that is a chalky powdery kind of layer. And around that part is the outer nail or like the new growth that you can trim off. Ideally, you want to trim as close to the quick as you can without actually touching it. Um, that will take off the most amount of nail. But when you're doing at home maintenance, even if you are just able to take off a little bit on the end or you know not all the way down, then that will still help uh, keep your dog's nails maintained. As far as positioning, everyone's different. I'm right handed, so I like to position myself on the dog's left side facing their butt. Um, and then I like to lift up their paws as if they're a horse. This little bend in the wrist is the most natural for them and it uh, makes it less likely that they're gonna try to pull their, their paw away. I take off little pieces at a time since I'm not exactly sure how long the quick is with the first nail. With white or clear nails, you can see the pink of the quick inside, but that's sometimes deceiving. The quick can actually sometimes be quite long and skinny, so if you go slowly, you're much less likely to go too short. Think of it like whittling a piece of wood, so you're taking off just little bits at a time. Now you can see here that the quick is the inner uh, pink area, and then you can see the white chalky layer just around it, and then the outer part is the part that I just trimmed off. Black nails can be harder because you can't see through them, but actually you can see the uh, chalky powder a lot easier, so it can actually be a little bit easier to do if you're doing them from below like this. Um, you can see here in the video that I'm doing the same thing as with the white nails, just take a little bit off at a time, and at the end there you can see the little black dot in the center is the very end of his quick. The white part surrounding it is the chalky part, and then the part at the bottom of the nail on the video is the uh, growth that you can trim off. If you do end up quicking your dog by accident, it's not a big deal. If you've got some styptic powder or cornstarch, you can just take one little bit, put it right on the end of the nail, and hold it there for a moment. Thanks for watching and good luck. If you have any questions about doing your dog's nails or anything else for at home maintenance, please feel free to let me know.